Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, Devon Thomas, a.k.a. You want your little brother to dress like me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Nah, man, you already know. It's another episode of In a Timely Fashion. We here, man. It's been a crazy week. I mean, with the circumstances that we're going through, making sure everybody stay healthy, stay good. And, uh, you know, we here to rock. One thing that would not get canceled with the Roni going around, fashion. You can't stop this. Whatever you wear, that's you always you gotta be flying fresh still. And I'm here to bring that content to help you out to keep you happy. And um, yeah, we here. But um, today we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about everything. We're gonna talk about uh, some of the shows that's been canceled, some of the fashion events that's been canceled. You know, Met Gala, or whatever. Uh, a couple of releases, some big releases that was coming out. They can't. They postponed that. Yeah, the Roni, the Roni taking over, man. It's taking over. But uh. Yo, shout out to Melody Asani, dope ass designer. She just did a collab with Jordan. She did a couple of collabs with Jordan, but she got some joints dropping this week. That's fire. Uh, and we also going to pull it to the hashtag segment where we going to talk about Melody Asani. We went, I went the hashtag Melody Asani and went to see what her supporters is looking like. See if they fly enough. Think they got it? You think they don't? I don't know. We don't know. But uh, we going to check that out. And also... It was a sad day, man. The NBA, they postponed their season. They talking about it might, it might not even finish the season out. So with that being said, we can't, we can't do our off-court outfits. But what we can do, we can choose one of my favorite off-court basketball players. Shout out to Chris Paul, fellow North Carolinian. I see you. I gotta keep it a buck. Like, I feel like he's one of the, the dopest, flyest dudes in the league right now. I'm gonna choose some of his. Dopest outfits that I think I'm gonna talk about it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we're gonna get right into it. So sit back, get your hand sanitizer, maybe your toilet tissue if you got some, and chill out about your boy in a timely fashion. Yo, man, like I was saying, man, this this, this Roni taking over is trying to stop us, but we strong, we strong, but. It's definitely, it's postponed two important things that were coming out for 2020. Well, not coming out, but it's an event that happened every year, the Met Gala. Oh, man, I was looking forward to it. Because you know here, in a timely fashion that closed down, we love to just talk about outfits. And that was going to be a big event. I know we're going to see something crazy, some wildness. But they postponed it until further notice. So, you know, that's, that's, that's very important. So don't, don't go on the gram looking for the craziest outfits or whatever the case may be, because you ain't going to see it. Well, you will see some of the craziest outfits, but you won't see it from the celebrities. On a, you're going to see it from your, your friends that you follow. I see you. Stop wearing that shit. All right? Stop it. But, uh, yeah, man. Also, it was a heavily anticipated collab that was coming out uh i wanted i think it was in april the dior by air jordan one yeah they legit had a collab luxury leather it was like a like a, a gray with the dior pattern on the check with the ice blue bottom when i first seen it it looked a little factory variant to me it looked a little fake but um as I started seeing more images, it started to grow on me. But anyway, they only made 8,500 pairs. It was a little, it, it, it was, it, it's, it's pretty dope. Like, it's going to sell crazy. Well, then again, it might not sell crazy to just the regular people. Because they going for 2,000 a pop. Yeah, the Mayor Jordan 1s. <laughs> and they got the low tops too. I'm sorry, I ain't spending $2,000 on some Mayor Jordan 1s. Unless it was on Jordan's feet. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so they postponed that. And they, they, they're selling it by a uh, by raffle. And that's for across the whole world. So good luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's postponed. So you got you got even more time to save up if you don't got it. You got to be more time. Brother like me, I'll just be watching y'all. I'll be watching y'all suffer because y'all ain't going to get it. Nah, nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Y'all might get it. Y'all might get it. Um, but uh, other than that, that's the two important things that really got postponed. Um, like I said, don't let the Roni take over. Don't let the Roni take over. 
it, it's, it's here. It's going to pass through. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it going. But uh, we, we, we going off that, man. We going off that. But what I can say that Roni did take over that it shouldn't have, the NBA. Now that there's no more NBA season, what am I going to critique? I'm seeing some of y'all players put out y'all outfits that y'all doing at the crib. I'm going to get y'all. I'm going to get y'all, but I'm not going to get y'all this week. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I'd rather talk about my boy, man. One of my favorite NBA players. Chris Paul. That man, he gets fly, man. He gets fly. And I don't think a lot of people give him the credit, enough credit. Uh, uh, he has a dope stylist, too. Uh, I want to shout her out. I believe her name is uh, Courtney, Courtney Miller. If I'm saying that wrong, my apologies. But uh, yeah, man, I, at the end of the day, he, he got some dope shit. Like, let's, let's just get straight into it. Like this right here, he got, the, he got the pattern mix. He got the orange plaid with just the orange little top coat. Like, that, that orange just pops. It, it just goes dope. And then he got the subtle all black on under it with the airships. If y'all know the history about the airships, that was the honest, that was the, the first Air Jordans. Before they had gave him his actual signature shoe, Jordan was wearing the airships. They just came out in the whole package or whatever the case may be. A little history, a little sneaker history for y'all out there. Um, but yeah, this is dope. And the crazy thing is, them sneakers is red, but his coat is like an infrared orangey type of feel. So it just brings it out even better. He, didn't, he wasn't real matchy-matchy. It made it pop. But uh, yeah, this is dope. And it looked a little chilly out there. A little chilly outside, but with the cold, you gotta come with the fly. And he, he definitely brought it with this one, man. Like, he always, he always bring it, though. He always bring it. This fit right here. Yo, shout out to Pierre Moss, man. Black designer. Black designer. Gotta show love. Kirby, all that. We see you out here closed down. Now, I mean, this fit is cool. He got the, he got the denim jacket. You know what I'm saying? He got the signature Pierre Moss cut. You know, he got, it's like a, it's like a uh, little uh, crop <laughs> jacket or whatever. But, you know, it works for the slimmer guys. It works for the slimmer guys. I'm going to say it again. It works for the slimmer guys. Oh, okay. Nah, nah. If, if you feel you can do it, you got the confidence, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? But if you end up on close down, it might be on the wrong end of close down. I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, like this this fit is cool. Kept it simple. He got the, oh, he got the black jacket with the black pants. But he got the white shoes on with the white t-shirt. And he got the yellow beanie. I see he going hard with the beanies. The beanies, everybody know. I love me a good beanie too. So uh, I like this. He let he let the yellow pop. He let the yellow talk. This is this is cool. It's real simple. Um, but yeah, we rocking with it. Black designers always got to show love. Uh, what we got next? Um, this one. I like the colors, man. I like the colors. I'm a fan. And for the fact that he did the bright colors with the plaid, he went bold with the plaid. A lot of people are scared to do that. He did it. I think he did it well. And he toned it down with the brown champagne, I guess you could say, champagne overcoat, double-breasted joint. Fire. This is fire. He got the classic old-school Nikes on. Um... Yeah, man, this is this is dope. This is dope. He didn't do too much. He he knew the pants did a lot, so he let that talk. Got the little mock neck or turtleneck, mock neck, whichever you want to call it. And again, he's here with the beanie, showing that beanie love. Shout out to Beanie Secret too, Grocery Bully. You already know. Um, yeah, man. I mean, it's it's not much to say. Like like to me personally, he's undisputed with this fly shit in the NBA. A lot of y'all young dudes, I see y'all doing y'all thing. A lot of y'all doing y'all thing, but a lot of y'all look like y'all dressed straight off the mannequin. Y'all look like y'all went to the, let me get everything on a mannequin and I'm gonna put that on. No, that's not how we do it. It used to be fly when we was in high school. I'm cool, I'm cool. Nah, but yeah, he he, he did this grown man, but yet fun. I fuck with this fit, yeah. Uh, this last one here. Again, with the miss, he do, he do the mismatch situations, his jacket, fire. And this is all attached. This is all an attachment right here. Like, he got the denim on the, on the right sleeve. Then he got the blazer on the left on top of the trench. I need to know where I can get this. I'm not going to lie. This, 
I fuck with. This is hard. You know, he got the regular, got simple denim. And uh, I believe he got the off-white uh, ones, the, the white joints. The white joints only came out over in, like, Europe. So, those are super limited. But, I mean, he's also Team jump, jump man, so, you know, he gonna get them. He gonna get whatever. But, uh, yeah, T-shirt, kept it simple, gray tee. I fuck with it. This is fire. Like, he got the, it's, it's, for the fact that it's a pinstripe on the left sleeve and then a denim, man, it's not the same. Like I said, here at Close Down, Chris Paul, you get the number one spot. Shout out to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all don't, if y'all don't agree, let me know in the comments, please. Let me know who do y'all think in the NBA who's taking his crown from him. Cause I, I think he's doing it. But that's just me. All right, but yeah. Enough about it, man. Enough about. It. Shout out to CP3, baby. You already know. Uh, we hope to see y'all back on the court soon. It's it's it's, it's gonna be a rough one not watching the NBA, but it's all good. All right, so we're gonna go to the footwear, man. We got, it's a lot of heat that's coming out despite the Roni. It's a lot of heat coming out. And I came across these particular joints. Um, I had, man, one of my friends sent it to me because I, I, I didn't see it at first. But when they sent it to me, I was like, oh no, these are fire, I need these. Definitely different. So this right here is the Stussy Nike Zoom Spiridon Cage 2? I want to say it's Spiridon. If I'm saying it wrong, hey, whatever. But yo, shout out to Stussy, 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 whatever you want to, however you want to say it. They always do dope collabs. Um, they, 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 they killed this. They killed this. They got the, the black, they got, they got two colorways, right? So they got like the black situation going on here. Got the little silver, whatever the case may be. I fucks with this hard. I fucks with this hard. But then they got the cream colorway. This cream go hard. The cream is what I think I need to get my hands on. Ah, I'm not sure exactly when it's gonna drop, but these are fire, and I fucks with it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it got it got it's just the detail in it. I'm all about detail. Like detail is is important for me, and I feel like you can do so much. And you know now, like the whole dash sneaker look is a is a thing, or the, the train the cross train of running sneaker is a thing. This is some shit you could throw on with a suit and be chilling. Like I no no let me let me I'm gonna kill these. And when I get them, I'm gonna let y'all see. I'm gonna show off a couple of fits with them. Best believe, I'm gonna kill these because these is hard, definitely hard. But uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not sure when these are coming out, but I will keep y'all updated. Uh, let y'all know when these drop. But uh, yeah, man, Stussy, uh, Nike Zoom, Spiridon Cage Two. He's a fire. Uh, yeah. Let's get right into it. Man, we got the old school joints right here. The, uh, we used to call them Sacconis, but apparently they're, they're Saucony. Saucony. The Sauconies. So, you know, I think that's the proper pronunciation of them. I don't know. But uh, we got the Saucony Jazz 4000, the OGs. Got the white with the pink and purple. Whoo, first of all, I love the colors pink and purple together. It just goes so hard. You know what I'm saying? Got the jazz feel, got the jazz on the back to let you know that this is what it is. This is this the inspiration behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's real subtle, real chill. So real quick, a little runner sneakers. You could wear these, you could wear this with whatever. Like, I feel like you could throw this on with some khakis, you could throw this on with some jeans, throw it on with shorts. Even if you a, if you still a baggy jean wearing nigga. You could throw those joints on and get them off. Nah, I'm lying. I'm lying. You can't do that. Come around me with some baggy jeans on. I will flame your head. Nah, but uh, yeah, yeah, man. You know, you you get them off however you you want to. But uh, yeah, these are fire. I'm not sure when these are coming out either. Um, definitely got that '90s feel, that retro feel. We we uh, hair closed down. We going we gonna let y'all know when they come uh when they coming out. We gonna keep y'all updated. Cause I, I need these in my life too. I ain't gonna hold you, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, that's how we gonna we gonna wrap up the up and coming sneakers with no release dates just yet. That's how we gonna wrap that one up. 
But next, what we're going to move to, we're going to move to the actual sneakers that got release dates that's coming out. And what we got here. All right, so we got the Nike Air Max 1 City Pack. All right, so they got the City Pack that's for Amsterdam and London. These are coming out March 19th. Um, let me get the price on them. I, I, I want to say they're 160. I believe they're 160. But uh, yeah, they, they're coming out March 19th. So those definitely going to be fire. They got the brown for the Amsterdam. And then they got the blue, the navy blue for the London joint. Like these are fire. Um, I don't know what else to say about them. All right. So these other joints. All right. So the next joints we got. I'm horrible with names. Horrible with names. I want to say Ame Leon Do. It doesn't matter. Just these joints get them. They 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 cool. Some New Balances, the 827s. Um, they got the they got the yellow situation going on. Uh, I, I like I like the colors that they got into it. They got the yellow with the blue. Like these are these are cool. These are cool. It's, it's very playful. It, it gives you the feel of like Legos. Um, they came out. I know they came out last Friday. Um, online online exclusive on that Friday, but they're coming out again. I want to say this Friday too. Old man feel, but cool. The cool old man. It is what it is. We fuck with them. Uh, if you can find these, go cop these. I know you can find them on StockX. I don't think they beating you too crazy in the head for the price. They're like 200 on StockX. I believe retail was 160. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can uh, actually at inclothing.com, they're selling them. Uh, you can find them up there. Uh, yeah, go check them out. Go check them out. These, these, are, these are dope if you fuck with them. Uh, moving on. I'm not going to lie. I don't really fuck with these. These are the Air Jordan 4 Neons. So they're coming out March 21st for a whopping 225. But they was inspired. They're paying homage to the, to the uh, Neon Green 95s. I don't really fuck with them like that. Um, I fuck with the 95s. But when Jordan tried to do the whole copy and paste situation it's not really my thing but you can these are i think these are gonna be general releases they, you can cop these anywhere foot locker champs whatever if they're still open <laughs> get them online for sure uh but yeah so those coming out march 21st and then uh we have uh yeezy yeezy still dropping sneakers the yeezy cinder joints um it's like a brown earth little huge joint uh the 350 v2s they coming out march 21st for 220 if you still fuck with the yeezys you'll fuck with these this got the little gum bottom these are cool uh there's nothing more more to say i i'm over yeezy me personally um let me not say that out loud just in case y'all want to throw something at me <laughs> we gonna take that one out edit point edit point but uh yeah uh, yeah, March 21st, go get those. So, um, there's definitely some heat coming out. Now, I shouted out earlier in the uh, episode, Melody Asani, she got these fire joints. Now, she did a collab earlier with Jordan. She did the Jordan ones, where she did some colorful uh, Jordans. Those was cool. It was the mid Jordan ones. I don't really fuck with the mid. Like, if you're a real sneakerhead, you don't fuck with the mid Jordan ones. The high OG Jordans, we fuck with those. The, the Air Jordan ones, the high OG. Uh, but yeah, so this time around, she did the first woman Jordan OG in a black with the cherry red, and she got the cherry on the front, the little on the little lace part. These are actually fire. They're coming out only for women. So for the fellas that want to squeeze their feet in these, you gotta get the women size. It's gotta go up. So you know how it goes. It's like I think two sizes up or something like that. Something crazy. Uh, but yeah, these are dope. They going for 150. Uh, they they came they coming out on um, on her site. Well, they they came out on her site last week actually, and they're also dropping on sneaker and stuff this week. It was a exclusive drop last week, but this week they're coming back out officially. It got the reflective 3M piping going around it. That's fire with the little dimple on the inside. Like these was dope when they first came out back in the day. 
they actually still sell they sell they re retro the uh the black and white ones the original color ones of these they had they they're back out there um so for the ladies go pick these up man i want to see what y'all fits looking like get the, how y'all gonna get these off and fellas if y'all if y'all y'all feet too big go copy for your shorty you know what I'm saying? Go cut for your shorty just to see. I just want to see how they gonna get these off because these are dope, man. I fuck with them. But uh, yeah, man. So this is that's the sneaker releases for the week. Uh, so if you're not so stuck up in the crib in your ronies, get on the computer and get your order on or do it on your phone. Make sure you got your glove on. Make sure you got the sanitizer right there. All right. Don't share phones. Don't share phones. But uh, you know it is what it is. But uh, yeah, that's it for sneaker releases. Hashtag dressing. So for this segment, man, we went, I went to hashtag Melody Asani. Shout out to her again. These are the colorful Air Jordan ones I was talking about. These are mids, but the colors are fire. I can't front. The colors are fire. And I like what she did with them. Shout out to this girl. She did the army green all over. It looked like the gasoline suit. Or is that just a denim jacket? I can't really tell. Yeah, I think it's a jacket in my foot. So all, she did the all green. And brought the colors and made the feet pop. That's what you gotta do. If you wanna keep it subtle up top, let your feet talk. Cause you know, you, when you bought the sneakers, you was like, all right, these are fire. So I'm, a, I'm a, I gotta make, let these talk. So let me do everything subtle up top. Now she did. She killed this. I definitely rock with this. Um, who else we got? Um, I'm not so much a fan of this outfit with the army green. She did the fatigue. She's doing a whole lot here. It's like she was trying to match every color. She got the jacket that got every color in it. I'm cool on this. If she would have just had the jacket on and left it solid color on her outfit, this looked like she was doing a lot. I mean, I know the camo thing is cool. It's in, you know, I, she didn't have to do all that though. You know, but uh, who, who, who am I? I'm just a guy on YouTube, <laughs> whatever. But uh, yeah, we gonna, we gonna move on, move on. All right, so you know, so Melody does only women's sneakers but you know the fellas y'all can switch it up y'all can do it too she did some ai's a couple years back i ain't gonna front i thought these was fire had the wheat situation going on with the pad leather toe the questions these are classic ai's and my man he went and copped them threw them on and the fit he should have threw it away sorry sorry the fit and then he got the mcm to match the sneakers I just feel like the painted shirt was too much. Like, he didn't have to do all that. You know what I mean? Like I said, once again, the sneakers say enough. The sneakers is fire. Let's just bring all attention to the sneakers. I don't really like everything else going on. He didn't really have to match the colors up like that. That's neutral color. Neutral colors go with almost anything. He didn't have to do that. But, you know, shout out to him for copping them, you know. But uh, moving on. Moving right along. Uh, this is cool. <laughs> that's not the Roni. <laughs> that's not. We get out here. Uh, but I like this fit. This fit was cool. Um, she had a sneakers, kept it subtle. Nice plaid jacket going with it. The plaid jacket, it, it brings the extra khaki coming out with the red and the black. I like this. This is this is real cool. It, it matches, but yet it's still it's a subtle match. I like this. This is cool. With the socks, got the, the cool socks going along with it. I fuck with this. This is dope. Yo, man. Shout out to Melody Asani again. Shout out to her. Uh, but uh, that's how we're going to wrap this up. Yo, we appreciate y'all coming through, rocking with us for another infested week. But we here at Close Down. We're going to keep y'all healthy, fly, and all that good stuff. So, on that note, it's your boy, Divine. We signing off, man. Make sure you follow me at Divine and Conquers. Follow Close Down also. Just remember this, always. I am not a stylist. I'm just stylish. You already know. I'm out. People look at me funny, think I'm the cockiest. But they misconstrue it. I am full of confidence. Okay. I'm knowing they're perfect and that is obvious And if you think you flawless, I'll show you where your lobby is Your first floor, embrace it with your heart
I'm recording. I'm recording. <laughs> and you call it. Yeah, I'm recording. I told you I'm up. <laughs> All right. Just touch me. All right. I thought I had my life drawn out What I'm living is the sketches uh, It's not the final or the blueprint nope. I grew up differently They want the title of a nuisance nah. She doesn't like me, no She doesn't like just how I do it Now she's spiteful like it's cool And has a right to